Hey guys, it's me, Nithin. But you can just call me uh, Nithin Kitchen Man. <laughs> if you know what I'm uh, a couple updates. Uh, my hair has grown quite long. Also, there is a pimple on my face. Is right? No, it's on this side. It's right up there. And yeah, that's basically every important event in my life for the past couple uh, years. All right, listen up, guys. I know why you're here, okay? You don't have to be embarrassed. It's all right. So you've been cursed by a demon who said that he won't lift said curse unless you prepare him a delicious meal. It's okay. It happens to the best of us. And as a matter of fact, it's happening to me right now. Guys, if I don't make this guy a good meal, then I'm gonna be cursed forever, and I can't have that. That's why today I'm gonna teach you guys how to make a delicious treat. Brownies. <laughs> Now you might be wondering, hey Nathan, what exactly are the effects of this curse? And you know, honestly guys, it's barely noticeable and I really don't want to talk about it, honestly. But you know what I do want to talk about though, is this video's sponsor. Manscaped. Now guys, when external circumstances have caused your bottom half to turn into that of a beast, being well groomed is an absolute must. Manscaped is the only men's brand completely dedicated to below the waist grooming and hygiene, i.e. trimming your balls. They just made this perfect package 3.0 kit that contains everything you need to take your grooming routine to the next level. One of the things it includes is the new Lawnmower 3.0, a cordless wireless Cordless wireless? Cordless waterproof body trimmer. When it comes to trimming your balls, this thing is balls-tastic. You also get various other add-ons, such as the Crop Reviving Refreshing Spray and the Crop Preserver Anti-Chafing Ball Deodorant. You put deodorant on your armpits all the time. Well, now you can put deodorant in your balls pits. Also, for a limited time, subscribers get not one, but two free gifts. This neat travel bag and these sweet boxers. So please go to manscaped.com and use the promo code DARKM20 to get 20% off and free shipping. Trust me, your balls are gonna thank you. But enough talk about balls. Now, let's talk about something I want in my mouth even more. Brownies. Now guys, brownies are actually a really simple dessert to make, but once you make them, they taste really damn good. So that's why I'm making them for my demon curse friend. I don't mind the goat feet, but I vastly prefer my old ones, so... I hope this works. Now, I originally got this recipe from the website http colon slash slash www.allrecipes.com slash recipe slash 10549 slash best dash brownie slash. You might have heard of it. Now, according to Angie, these brownies always turn out. Hell yeah, Angie. Fuck yeah, let's go! Now, if you're gonna make brownies, you're gonna need some equipment. Number one, an eight by eight inch pan. Let's take a look at that son of a bitch. He's uh, eight inches wide and eight inches long. Next, a bowl with which to mix our ingredients in, a spoon with which to mix our ingredients, and some measuring shit. Now first things first, you want to preheat your oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit so we can get to cooking later. Just let that guy heat up back there and get ready to make your brownie mix. First things first, you're gonna need a half cup of butter, which is the whole stick. Take this motherfucker and put him in the bowl right like that. Now you wanna melt this guy in the microwave, but it'll melt faster if you cut it up into little pieces. I'm just gonna do that real quick. Ah, brilliant. Our butter is sufficiently melted. Look at that guy swish around. Then you just add in a shit ton of stuff. One cup of sugar. Next, put in two eggs. If you want a more cake-like brownie, you can add three eggs. But me personally, I like my brownies more on the fudgy side, so I'm just gonna add two. Next, add a teaspoon of vanilla extract, a third cup of cocoa powder, a half cup of flour, a quarter teaspoon of salt, and a quarter teaspoon of baking powder. Oh! Then you just want to mix all that together like so. Just keep mixing it until you remove all the air bubbles. Now I'm just going to go ahead and give it a taste. Let me just see this. Hmm. Tastes too brown. Guys, in order to solve this problem, I'm going to add a little something to this brownie mix that I like to call God's Essence. <laughs> It's, uh, it's just purple food coloring again. I, I'm not a very creative guy. Uh, fellas? I might have gone too far. Okay, so I definitely added too much. You know, it doesn't even look like purple. It just looks like it's black goo. It doesn't even look, it, what the fuck food coloring? Now that I think about it, I guess mixing purple food coloring with the naturally brown brownie batter, um, I deserve this outcome. You know, it kind of looks like, uh, remember the at the, at the guy from the beginning of Dark Souls 3, remember that? Kind of looks like him. All right, so now that our shit brownie mix is finished, uh, you're gonna wanna go ahead and uh, take a neutral oil, uh, like I'm using vegetable oil, and you wanna grease up the pan. Hey, there's more grease in this pan than there is in all of Europe. <laughs> hey, 
you just pour this stuff right in. Ooh, ooh, look at this stuff. And there we go, brownies uncooked. Do not eat this yet, it contains raw eggs. Just gonna take this guy and slap him in the oven like this. You're gonna wanna bake for 25 to 30 minutes. Do not overcook, and you will comfort your soul. All right guys, so the brownies are in the oven and that's great, but now that we have some downtime waiting for it to bake, I think it's time we get started on our guacamole. Now to make this guacamole, I'm using three avocados. If you've never dealt with an avocado before, don't worry, it's very easy. All you gotta do is you gotta just uh, make a little cut over here. Then you just kind of want to work your way around the outside. You'll feel the pit of the avocado because the knife will get to it. You see how I'm just kind of like cutting sort of into it but like not completely? That's what I'm talking about. That's what you're going to want to do. Then once you've made that cut, you should just be able to do a little twisting and then you got your two halves of avocado. To take the pit out, you can just sort of like smack your knife into it and twist it and it'll come out just like this. Then you just want to make some cuts uh, all the way down to the skin, but not past the skin. You see what I'm saying? Then you do the same thing the other way, and then you have this sort of like crisscross like thing going on. You then you just take a spoon, and then you can just scoop it out, out and just dump it in this here bowl. You see what it is? And there we go, the flesh of three avocados. Now you just want to mash it. Now our avocados are sufficiently mashed. Then you want to add the juice of one lime. Just cut that sucker in half. And then I use my lemon lime squeezer like so. Yeah, sucked him dry. And now the rest of you, you are weak and I am strong. Then a teaspoon of salt. Whoa! Hey, it looks like our brownies are almost finished. Just gonna let this guy cool off back here. Now to my guacamole, I'm gonna add three things. Two Roma tomatoes, half of an onion, and a clove of garlic. Just gonna mince these boys down to size. And yeah, just like that, our guacamole is finished. Now that all our ingredients are complete, let's start preparing this meal. Now, I think the biggest problem when people are making brownies is that they forget to toast the tortilla. Guys, it makes the meal taste so much better, okay? Just put it on the stove for a couple minutes. <laughs> Sorry you guys can't see my face so much from this angle. I still hope you can enjoy the view. Now let's take our brownies and cut these bad boys up real quick. Mm. Alright, now the execution is pretty rough, but honestly, it turns out to be pretty good brownies. Now let's just take a little taste of this. Mmm, guys, Angie was right. These brownies really do turn out. All right, well, now that I know these brownies are good, there's no problem with me doing this, okay? I'm just gonna put a couple of pieces, uh, just assemble it like so. And there you have it, brownies a la Nithin. This dish was the best-selling item at my last restaurant, close for health reasons. Well, now that this meal's finished, there's really only one thing to do. Oh, shit! Oh, oh, shit. Hey, man. You seem nervous, Nathan. Have you prepared what I've asked of you? What? No, I'm not nervous. Look, I prepared you a fine meal, all right? Go ahead. Hmm. Interesting. So, what do you think? This meal is the finest thing I've ever tasted! Wait, seriously? Does that mean you're gonna remove this curse now? No, even better. I'm officially hiring you as my personal chef for one billion dollars a week. Holy shit! <laughs> <laughs>